So this video was originally going to be like really different, but I decided to change it to this last minute because all of my, all of them, but a lot of people in my Discord wanted me to do this. I decided to be rating my subscriber and fans avatars. Uh, if you guys want me to rate your avatar, if I ever do a sequel to this, join the Discord server. Link is in the description. Uh, if I ever do like announcements or I'm like, hey, join me in the video, it'll always be in there. But uh, yeah, I... <laughs> I got way more people than I expected to to send me their avatars, so that's pretty surprising. But uh, on to the first one, mine. Uh, mine is pretty hot. Uh, as you can see, I am Satan himself uh, via my devil horns. I'm like, if Jack Skellington had a pumpkin for a head and had horns, you know, it makes perfect sense. Don't analyze my terminology. 11 out of 10, best avatar of the bunch. All right, let's get on to the next avatar. Not so potatoes. Now, potatoes, you kind of look like a steampunk dude. And I actually have a steampunk shotgun I'm going to get real quick. You guys will most likely see a picture of it on screen now. And just because it reminded me of that and it was made in 2017, I'm going to give you a 17 out of 10 because my ratings are completely fair and justified. And I am not doing this for comedic value. The next avatar is Dogeman Official YT, and he kind of looks official, right? But the only thing is, if he was really official, he would have something on his avatar saying official. But he does look like a doge, so because of that, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. Because he is a doge, but it doesn't look like he's official. He does look like a man, though. So you know what? I'll give him a 7.5 out of 10. That makes more sense. He doesn't look super official. He looks kind of like a fraud. I think he stole the real Doge Man's avatar and just murdered him and took his place. Now the next person is RD12 or Yao Best. I don't know how to say it, but he's Giorno Giovanna. And uh, this, since I am a JoJo fan, I am obligated to give this a 10 out of 10 because, uh, okay, I'll be I'll, I'll be real, real here for a second. This is definitely like one of the, I mean, so it's pretty cool looking, I'd say. He has the, he's a gang star. He's the leader of the mafia now. He defeated Diavolo. And this is when we get gold experience Requiem Journal. And that's how you know he's Chad. So I'm obligated to give him a 10 out of 10 out of fear of my life because he will probably murder me an infinite amount of times. The next person is Alex Team 109 who always has kind of a weird looking avatar. Uh, this one is cool though. It seems, I, I don't know what it is, but it's cool. <laughs> it's, if it's something bad, let me know in the comments because I don't know, but it looks honestly, he kind of looks like a gangster and I am a little afraid for my life again. So I will give it a 10 out of 10. Alex, please don't kill me. Uh, thank you. The next avatar is beta camels. Now the, he is quite attractive. He does not look like a beta. However, this is the alpha chat, all right? His hair is 10 times bigger than his, his entire head. And his goatee, as you can see, does not even attach to his body. But that makes him more look more like a beta, as you can see by his name. Uh, because his facial hair doesn't even want to associate with him. So it makes perfect sense to me. Uh, I think I will... He also looks like a Satanist, which is something I believe betas do. And uh, I... Since he is a beta, I am going to give him a 0 out of 10 just for being a beta in my presence because I am the most alpha of chats. The next avatar is Boss Boy. And uh, as you can see already up here, he's Santa Claus. And I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 so I get my presence this year because Santa Claus is real, everyone. Don't let anyone fool you. I saw all the movies. It, they mean, it means he's real, okay? They, they couldn't just cast a fake Santa Claus. No one would do that, all right? It's the real Santa Claus, I swear. So I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. So I get on the nice list. Okay, so this is a hard one because he's wearing Devon merch, right? He, he's wearing the OG Devon merch. Like you can, cannot get this anymore. But then again, he's ACCG. So I'm going to give him a negative 4 out of 10. Because, uh, you know, I, it would be negative 5. But the Devon merch gives him one, a single point. But he is ACCG. ACCG, this is a joke. I don't hate you. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. <laughs> now, Dr. Jazz X, all right? He, as you can see by his bio, he seems to be a Redditor. And Redditors are cone heads. And he has a cone for a head. 
it fits perfectly. He also seems to be quite, you know, he's he's rocking them jeans. He's rocking that blue and white shirt. You know, he seems like your average your average redditor. He's but redditors don't smile, all right. Redditors can cannot like about <laughs> they do not understand what it means to be happy. So I'm gonna give this an eight out of ten. If he was frowning, I would give it a 10 out of 10 because Redditors don't understand happiness. Now next we got Iron. Uh, his shirt is just the template shirt, uh, which is quite humorous. He has the devil horns, which I have, so I respect it, except mine are red because I'm cool and edgy. Uh, he, But the thing is, right, he doesn't have anything iron on him except for his head. So 2 out of 10, uh, get out of my face. The next person is Sawi or Fearless Andy Mamaka. And uh, he he's just a robot. And I respect it because robots are going to take over this planet. And I don't want to be murdered. So you get a 20 out of 10. So please spare me when the Terminators come. Thank you. Okay, so next we have Tiny. His avatar seems pretty normal besides from the FTP. I have literally no idea what that means. So uh, time to figure it out. File transfer protocol. The file transfer protocol is a standard network protocol used for the transfer of computer files between a client and a server on a computer network. So is he just like an advanced robot or something? We had Sawi who was a robot and now we have like the goddamn Terminator up in here. So 25 out of 10. Don't hurt me or my family. Thank you. Next we have Hero Hampus. Now you can tell he has breathing problems like me because he wears a face mask. Either that or he's protecting the world from COVID, which we appreciate. You know, we respect that. Uh, I have asthma, so and I can vouch that all people who have asthma do indeed have to wear face masks. So to protect their lungs, of course. So, um, you know, for representing uh, me who has asthma, I give you a 10 out of 10. Thank you. So next we got Owen Powite, and he seems like he really, really uh, likes the taste of the rainbow, which I respect. Uh... And this is what happens after you have too much rainbow. Uh, your eyes and your head uh, literally explode from the pressure of the rainbow building up inside of you. So, uh, he, Owen is going to die soon. So, I give him an 11 out of 10 just so his final moments, uh, in his final moments, he gets a good Roblox avatar <laughs> rating. So, next we have Colton Plays who looks like a goddamn Power Ranger mech. <laughs> he looks like like the final, I don't know what they're called, like the Megazords, I think. He looks like one of those. <laughs> he has like the two stands behind him. He's like, but where am I stand? Power Rangers, Dino Shards or something. I love it. So out of respect for, uh, you know, the Power Ranger, you know, job, I give you a one out of 10. Because Power Rangers, I hated Power Rangers. So this is Killua or Afraid of Men Easy. His avatar is just a bacon. He pulls off the hair. He pulls off the jacket. He pulls off the pants. I gotta respect it. All right. He looks pretty epic. I give him a three out of 10 out of negative 10. Easy. Okay. So here we have Bistretch. His name is Bistretch, but saying Bistretch makes him mad. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to call him Bistretch. But, um... This is Bistretch. Uh, he kind of looks like an edgy person. Not really edgy, but like he rocking the Adidas pants. Is that Adidas? I don't know anything about logos. He has his avatar matches. I'll give him that. He has like, he's bro. He's wearing the Gucci denim Supreme jacket. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, he looks pretty epic. His avatar, his hair does kind of go through his head though. Like, like not through his head, but like through his uh, furry ears. And uh, I just because of that, I'm going to have to give him a 2 out of 10 for um, being incorrect about uh, ears. So, yeah. All right, so next we got Jocks. And Jocks kind of looks like he would poor shame me because he's wearing Supreme and he's, co <laughs> and he's cooler than me. So, uh, Jocks, you get it a 10 out of 10 for, for one, being safe during COVID. I respect it. And uh, so you don't bully me for not wearing Supreme clothing. Now, Azure Y ads or understood Pikachu, he automatically gets a 10 out of 10. And you guys may be like, oh, why? You didn't even judge his avatar. Well, he's a patron. All right. So he's cool. All right. Shout out to you. You're cool. You, you're a patron. I respect it. Now, life with Maddox. Uh, 
his avatar shows exactly how he lives. He lives in the jungle, all right? Oh, you'd be like, well, Devin, how do I know this? Well, as you can see, uh, based on his uh, dragon on his back, he murdered an alligator and is wearing it as like, you know, like a reference, like, don't mess with me. I'm Mannix. And as you can see here, he has the coconut things and he has the bananas. Only uh, bananas are only found in the jungle. So Maddox is the modern representation of Tarzan. And Tarzan was uh, something I watched when I was three. Three out of ten. This person is also a patron. Ten out of ten. All I have to say. Now next up is my editor, Tikpoe. Or Alex. Or TC Poe. Or Tikpo. Or Kapoe. Or Kapo. As many nicknames as he has. Uh, that's the rating he's going to get. So he has Tikpoe, Tikpo, TC Po, Alex, Kapoe, and Kapo. 6 out of 10. Also, your smile is off. It's incorrect. You see, he's, smi he's like, he's smiling over here, and then it comes up, and it goes up there. That's in Ah. So next we got Enzyme, or Kip. And he kind of looks like an Ace Attorney member, as you can see. He has the hair on his arm, so he's a man. Don't get it confused. He's the man face. And he has more hair on his arms. He's, I don't know what this is from. I think it's from Ace Attorney, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, since he he has a bald spot, and his bald spot is one, two, three, four, four inches long. So I will deduct that much from his um. I will be deducting that much from his score. <laughs> Six out of ten. So next we got Deprarius. He is my streamer buddy. I it means if Deprarius hit me up and he was like, "Yo, Devin, you want to collab?" I'd be like, "Hell yeah!" Because this guy's cool, right? Uh, I would collab with Deprarius. He's pretty epic. Um, uh, he's got. <laughs> is that the Nike symbol? I don't know what that is. I'm stupid. I. Why did he buy this? <laughs> <laughs> that's like 2,000 robux okay well you know because he's rich uh, you know 2,000 out of 10 because he can afford that and i cannot as you can see <laughs> now here we got another person i would collab with and that's xx cool dude or kyra now kyra has the power ranger wing so he's kind of like the other guy but he kind of his avatar up here kind of matches with it you got the horns they fit the crown looks pretty cool. I don't I don't know why the bear's up there. That's kind of stupid. But every honestly, this is actually a pretty decent looking avatar. It's pretty bold. He doesn't got a shirt. He I don't know if those are pants or if his legs are just really pale. Uh I think it's pretty cool. Uh I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So next we got the official galaxy, and I just want to point out this guy looks like my math teacher. And uh my seventh grade math teacher and he was, he liked me a lot. My seventh grade math teacher was a cool guy. So nine out of 10 for being my seventh grade math teacher. And here we have the final avatar for Salsa and Eggs. His avatar, he's like a black ops ninja. Uh, as you can see, he's showing off his gay pride. You respect it. All right, he's gay. So you just got, he just got, he just added, he just wants to let us know. Uh, he looks pretty epic. MTF. Massive tomfoolery. That's what he enjoys. He's a tomfoolery man. So, I, because he's a funny boy, and uh, out of respect for his massive tomfoolery and his massive forehead, I give him a massive 10 out of 10. So that's it for all the avatars. Uh, obviously, mine is the best. Uh, there is no competition. Uh, but if you guys did uh, enjoy, feel free to like and sub if you haven't already. Sh turn on notifications, maybe share with your friends. That'd be cool. I also want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Uh, you guys will see your name on screen right about now. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support. I couldn't really be making these videos without you. You help me think of ideas and you give me ideas. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'll have some new videos out pretty soon. I have some cool ideas up in the board. One of them is going to be fun. You'll... <laughs> You guys, are, some people will hate me for it, but I think it's going to be fun. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.